Hi, I'm Mary Ann Ka'ahanui and welcome to my studio at dollmakersjourney.com. Today we're going to talk about the different kinds of fabrics that we can use to make exceptional cloth doll bodies. The first fabric we're going to talk about is woven fabric. Woven fabric has a grain to it. The lengthwise grain runs along the finished edge of the fabric, which is also called the selvage edge, and the crosswise grain runs from side to side. Woven fabric has very little stretch to it, except across the bias, which is the diagonal of the fabric. You can see it stretch a little bit. It's best to look for fabrics that have a high thread count that can hold up to the pressure of firm stuffing. We use Spring Made Southern Belle Muslin and we dye it in 13 different ethnic skin tones. It has a 230 thread per square inch thread count. We sell it in fat halves, which are pieces of fabric that are 36 inches long and 22 inches wide. This piece of fabric will be enough to make a doll body that is 16 to 18 inches tall, like our Doll for All Seasons doll body. If you enjoy making raggedies, primitives, or vintage style dolls, such as Maureen Mills' Pastime Playmates, you might like to choose a fabric called Osnaberg. Osnaberg is a loosely woven fabric with a speckled texture and it gives the doll a more aged look. Whenever you're using loosely woven fabrics, you want to double stitch the stress points that are going to receive the pressure when you're stuffing the body part, such as behind the back of the knee or in the instep of the foot. Another type of woven fabric we carry is called raw silk. It has a nice firm weave and a slightly nubby texture. All of the cold fire creation animal patterns are made of raw silk because the texture of the silk makes wonderful animal skin. The next type of fabric we're going to talk about is knits. The two most popular are craft velour and deer suede, which used to be known as doe suede. These two fabrics have very similar properties. Each are 100% polyester, they're 60 inches wide, and you can see that they have a suede-like texture on one side and a smooth texture on the other. Either side can be the right side of the fabric, depending upon what you're making. A lot of people like to uh, make elves and trolls and even baby dolls using the soft suede type. Using the same pattern piece, I made a leg with the suede side out of the craft velour and the shiny side out of the deer suede. You can see that the craft velour has a little bit more give to it and is slightly longer than the deer suede one. If you ever have a pattern that calls for doe suede, either the deer suede or the craft velour are perfectly acceptable substitutes for the doe suede that is no longer available. Another knit we have is called doll skin. This fabric is also 100% polyester, but it's quite a bit stretchier than the craft velour or the deer suede. It has a 40% stretch crosswise and a 20% stretch lengthwise. It looks the same on both sides and it's quite a bit more sheer, as you can see. The last type of knit fabric we carry is called nylon lycra. It is very shiny and very stretchy, stretching 50% in both directions. And we do not recommend it for making doll bodies. And I'm going to show you why. Using the same pattern piece, I made a leg from craft velour and one from the nylon lycra. And I think you can see the difference. Let me show you what we actually use the nylon lycra for. Some doll makers like to make a sculpted head that doesn't show a center front seam. So they use something called a cloth over technique and I'd like to demonstrate that for you. But before I do, have you ever had a head that you weren't perfectly happy with? Well, I've had plenty of them 
but I collect them here in my bag of heads and boy they do come in handy for demonstration purposes. After you've made your head out of a woven fabric or a knit and sculpted it, you take a piece of lycra that's very stretchy and you stretch it all the way over it and you keep pulling on it and pulling on it until it covers it smoothly and you tack it down in the back. This is a head from a long ago class I took that I never finished and you can see how the lycra is tacked down in the back. This enables you to add further stuffing by going in between the lycra skin and the head and you can go in and fill out the cheeks or the chin or the forehead or any other areas of the face that you want to add more dimension to. And this is what we use the lycra for. The last type of fabric that we carry is a non-woven and it is wool blend felt. This felt is 36 inches wide, it's 35% wool and 65% rayon. You can see that it stuffs up very nicely. Here's a sample of a little felt doll body that I made that's completely stitched by hand. Some doll makers tend to use one fabric more than another but I would encourage you to try all the fabrics so that you can experiment and see what results you get from each different kind. I hope this overview helps you to understand your fabric choices for making exceptional cloth doll bodies. When you visit us at dollmakersjourney.com, just click on the Find the Fabric button and it will take you to our fabric department where you'll see the full array of colors that we have in each fabric choice. We're looking forward to serving you on your own personal doll making journey.